What's up everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only bird motherfucking Dines, bitch. What's up everybody? Um, so I got home like an hour ago. But you know what I'm saying? When I got home, I was like, okay, I got milk and I had kind of grocery, like a little bit of stuff. And I opened the damn fridge and it looked a mess. So me puse a limpiar. So, but then I was like, but I wanted to make this video. I told um, Pablo Jacob that I was gonna make a video of how to take care of your molcajete because his grandma brought him a molcajete from Mexico and he asked me on Instagram how can he take care or how to make his molcajete smooth. Okay, you know what I'm saying? First of all, first of all, I wanna tell everybody that there's a difference between real molcajetes and fake ass molcajetes. Like there's a difference between real ass bitches like me and fake ass bitches like her. I don't know, there's nobody there. But anyways, este, um, molcajetes have been getting very popular because it's like, of course, they're fucking cool. They're awesome. Like, bitch, I made my salsa on my molcajete. I'm a fucking, like, doing what my people used to do or whatever. Pero, um, they're supposed to be made of um, piedra, rock, de lava, de pinche volcano, or some chinga su madre, I don't know what. And they're heavy. But a fake one, they're light. And their color is different. So a lot of people be painting them black. So people be like, oh, that's a real mocajete because it's black. So whenever you go get one or whatever, put a little water and go like this. And if it, the paint comes off, then it's fake. Also, if when you scratch it, if it, it turns white, it's fake. And if it's too light, it's fake. So I'm just saying, you want the real stuff because the fake ones, every time you try to, you know, um, like the rock falls off and you don't want your salsa to have little rocks then be like what the fuck is this bro I'm chewing on rocks motherfucker that's not a good look but anyways this is called a tecolote and this is a molcajete um, I've had a molcajete since I was a little girl when I got with Mario bitch there was a molcajete in my life because his mom had one and then uh, Mario bought me one and um, in Tijuana with his uncles and then his uncle bought this big ass one and that's how I learned how to do it because his uncle did it in front of me. So anyways, when you get a new molcajete, it's hard because it has little holes. It has more holes than this. This bitch already has holes, you know what I'm saying? Pero, there's tricks to this bitch. So what you gotta do is you could use some salt. No, we're gonna use salt. I'm gonna pretend like this bitch is new. You could use some rice, whatever rice you have. You could use any type of seeds. I have pepita de calabaza. You could use like coriander. I have that right here. Or what Mario's uncle used was a jonjolin. How do you call sesame seed? Any type of seed will do. And I've always had this little thing. Porque this is for the little holes. But you could buy anything like at Walmart. They sell those little things to wash dishes to clean the little holes. You know what I'm saying? Mine should look beaten the fuck up because I use it a lot. But yeah. I'm going to show you guys how to wash it and how to do it. So first of all, I'm just putting some in the carbon dish soap on it. And I'm just going to clean it around. You know what I'm saying? You could, when it's new, new, you could leave some water in it for like 20 minutes. So the rock or whatever could take off. And then you could use a little brush. That's why you need like a little brush to get the little holes. And just go around it. Get all them little motherfuckers right there. Motherfuckers right there. Then turn it around. And the same goes. Um, before when I used to wash dishes, um, they would make fun of me because I never washed the bag. And I was like, well, you don't use the bag, so who cares? And they're like, nah, that's nasty. You have to wash all of the dish. So yeah, I was I was like that. I was that bitch that just washed the inside. I don't know, it made sense in my head. Why wash the why wash the um the outside if you don't use it? But my mom said you have to wash the outside too because sometimes when you um when you're cooking, food gets stuck all over. So you don't want the cucarachas to come in, you know what I'm saying? I mean we grew up with I grew up with cucarachas, but we don't want them anymore. We grew up and we're better now. Yeah? Wash it around. There you go, bitch. So, same thing goes for the little rock. You also need to wash that motherfucker. 
porque you know what? Este, you put chile, cebolla, all them bitches. I know somebody told me to speak more English. Sometimes I forget to, that I'm like talking to a camera because I'm just, I feel like I'm talking to my friends because y'all my friends. So yeah, and usually when I talk, I talk English and Spanish at the same time. So bitch, now we're gonna get the rice. Wait, wait, too much rice, too much rice, too much rice. <laughs> Less. Put it back in here. Too much rice. I need the rice to eat, bitch. So, are you just gonna smash the motherfucker in there? You, you don't have to get this part, but you do have to get the inside. That's why a lot of um, molcajetes, you see white spots in it. So this is what people do. It's called curar. Curing the molcajete. It's a whole thing, bitch. So it's just gonna take a while. And I'm making a lot of noise. So guess who's here? Sofia La Tortilla with her pimping ass pimping shirt. Cause pimping ain't easy. Mm -hmm. So today, I took my mom to the doctor, right? And um, Sofia said she wanted to stay with her grandma. So I was without my baby the whole day. And she was doing a bunch of makeup on her. Y esto, así se quedó la cabrona. I was like, oh my God. She FaceTimed me. And, and she was like half clown and half, what were you doing? You were just living life. You want to try it up? Yeah. So, now that we did with the rice, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to finish it off. Bitch, I love this salt. Because it looks so different than the than the other salt, the one the kosher salt. It has little crystals and it tastes better and it melts better for food. And it's better for this bitch too. It's the, the salt is gonna get the nooks and crannies. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't even know. The little corners. And also you're gonna have to, you know, get your this, because this is gonna be new. You're gonna have to start getting it ready, you know, for the salsas. I haven't done this since like the first time. So this is kind of fun to me. This is what I call my Friday night. Fucking playing with the molcajete. Yeah, so the rice is gonna make it smooth, but so is this. And this, just spin it around. Ooh, 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 it's shiny. I'm making salt. No, I'm showing them how to take care of the mocajete. Because when you get a mocajete new one, it's not like this. To look like this, it takes time. Now I'm put some water. And now we're gonna add a little bit of water. And just finish it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks cool. It looks better than it did before. Before I had some holes. So now my sauce is gonna be more fire. Yes. Easy peasy. Now we're just gonna wash this motherfucker. Okay, so we're gonna wash it again. Just to, you know, make sure, since we're pretending this bitch is new, just to make sure all the little rocks and everything, because that's the main thing. When they're new, it's the. Like, what the caliente, way. When they're new, they have a lot of little rocks coming out, a lot of little dirt or whatever. I don't know what it's called. A lot of shit coming out of the asshole. So look, it looks blacker and pretty and gorgeous, bitch. Look at that. Look at that. So Sophia has been curious about the Beyond Meat or beef. So I told her I would buy her some. Yes. But I told her you could season it yourself yes. because I trust you and only you <laughs> to season your food porque eres bien loca y cabrona. So there you go. ¿Qué le vas a echar? This first. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to put this oregano with oregano. Oregano is life. Yes, yes. Then and salt? I don't think it needs salt because they were, the red thing already has salt. Oh. Yes, black pepper. Whip it up, whip it up. It says you have to cook within three days of opening. If purchased frozen, thaw in fridge and use within 10 days. And it is made of water, pea protein, pea protein? Isolate, expeller, pressed oil, canola, refined coconut oil, rice, protein, natural flavors, cocoa butter, mug bean, protein, metashashasha, potato starch, apple, extract, salt, potassium, blah, 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 un chingo de cosas. Bitch, look at this. So I'm telling you, this is the way to make your molcajete smooth like a baby's butt cheeks. You know what I'm saying? I think my butt cheeks 
are the smoothest part of my body. I mean, my face, I break out sometimes. I have like two big ass scars right here. Um, but on my butt, it's so smooth, bitch. I wish I could show you guys. Not show you guys. I wish I could send you guys like a sample. And every time you guys think about me, you guys would be like, oh, bird's butt is so soft. No, but this shit really works. It's the, I recommend it. Get yourself a mocajete, bitch. And a tecolote. But anyways, Sofia's little um thing is ready. Her Beyond Me. Are you going to taste it, mommy? Yeah. I'll taste it with you. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make a salsa. Ah, Sofia was a fucking Beyond Meat burger. And I couldn't even do that, Sofia, huh? I'm so sorry. I forgot the bread. But it's, it's my second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know what? <laughs> At least I tried. Anyways, let's try it. And mine is right here. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's not meat. But I love meat. I feel like if it had the bread and everything, it would be better. But what do you think? I don't think it's bad. So, I can't, I can't make a mocajete video without showing you how to make a bomb ski ski salsa. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan of salsas. I was going to say I'm a motherfucking queen of salsas. Pero sabes que? I'm not going to say that. Because I know there's a lot of bitches out there that get down. So I'm just going to say I'm a fan of salsas. Bitch, you got like best fucking salsa. You could eat it with... My mom, she says back when she was little, she used to eat um, homemade tortillas with seeds and a bomb ass salsa. My grandma, everybody named mama, um, they've always made bomb ass salsas. So I'm just going to make help you guys, teach you guys how to make a basic ass salsa, but a very, very good salsa. I'm gonna use five tomatoes. I'm gonna use uno, dos, tres, cuatro, six serranos, some garlic cloves, and maybe cilantro, I don't know yet. Let's see how I get inspired. I'm gonna use aluminum foil. I know people say that it's bad to use aluminum foil, but I wanna get my it's the tomatoes loosey, like yo pussy. Mm -hmm. So all I'm gonna do, I'm going to get my five tomatoes and I'm going to wrap them around like so and I'm going to put them on the comal. Bitch, I'm excited for the Super Bowl. Que va. It's going to be like the most Latino Super Bowl ever. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of happy for that because, you know, I'm a big fan of Tigres del Norte. So Mandy was looking up the song, Ya está cerrada. Contra escandados y remachada la puerta. That song was made in 1986, and that's the year greatness was born. You know what I'm saying? So I cannot wait to see that shit. See my motherfucking este, Tigres del Norte. You know they're from San Jose. So yeah. Anyway. And I'm doing the same with the chiles. Just put them in a the thing. Pull them up. And then we're going to move them around. In the comal. So this is gonna help them get like squishy, get um nice and soft for you guys. Este, you could also turn them over like this, and then you're gonna hear like a popping noise, but it's okay, nothing's going on. It's they're just remixing in there, doing what they do. So while I wait for the tomatoes and chiles to be ready, I'm gonna make myself like two tortillas, just because I want to eat it with the seeds, like my mom always talks about. I want to see what they taste like. Una to homemade tortilla with some um, seeds and a salsa. Mm, mm, mm. I like mine a little thick. You know what I'm saying? So there you go, yo. I'm thinking it takes 10 minutes for this to be ready. Maybe 15. You could just check it, like open it and see how they're sweaty. That's what we want. Yes, bitch. And then if there's a little black like that, a little burnt, that's even better. You know what I'm saying? I always tell you guys, burnt is good. That's how we like it. Let me check on the chili. Yes, they're coming through. It gives it a different flavor. If you just boil them and if you do it like this, it gives it a big different flavor. This is how my dad and my mom used to do it. My dad was a crazy person. Bitch, let me tell you guys something. I didn't even find out my dad was a crazy person until I got older. So, when I was little... 
he would stay up for like three days like no kidding one time he was acting so crazy he got a knife he literally got a fucking knife like like this and he started cutting his hair he had fucking cuts in his head like it was weird like bald patches and shit and then um like when he would get like in his little moods he would start cooking and he wouldn't stop and but i was watching him cooking because i would get happy when he was cooking because he wasn't doing weird shit i was like okay so he's cooking so that means we're gonna eat good but i mean my mom always took care of it but my dad got very creative and i don't know if it was a fucking coke or whatever the fuck he took but his shit was pretty bomb but yeah I didn't even notice that he was being a crackhead until I got older and I put two and two together, the things that he would do. So the last time I talked to him, I did ask him, like, did you do coke? And he said, like, see me, hi, did all that. I'm like, damn, bitch, how can you even raise me around all that bullshit? And I was, I was, I'm was, i very, like, I don't know, like, I like to do things, right? So one time my dad was smoking a cigarette. And I told my dad, oh, don't worry, it's the... I'll turn it off for you like he would always step on it but my ass did not step on it I was like waiting until he left and then I grabbed it and I was like <sighs> like I was trying to smoke I don't even know if I blew or I sucked inhaled but bitch I was only five I was very adventurous but that's really bad for a kid like now that I think about it I'm like bro you know they're all um, juicy and stuff they are ready time to turn off the comal <gasps> look at the chilitos Ooh, pop. Bye, you guys don't know what's about to go down. Okay, so first we're gonna do our garlic. So, yeah, you just have to put some like fist in it or wrist in it. Put some wrist in it and just go like push it against each other like this and like yeah, just it's work. You just have to put work in it. See, like the garlic, um, hit it hard, and boom, boom, chakalaka. Also, if you grab, put your hand right here and hold it, you give yourself like a good angle to do shit. This is how I do my hand, like I grab it like this. You know, like when you grab dick, like this. Mm -hmm. este, if you could este, ride dick, suck dick, you could do this too. Just saying. You know what I mean, Jelly King? So just do it around. This is why we need it clean because it goes really in there. And you don't want to stay dirt or whatever. Baby Mario's crying. God, My boys are way more work than girls. I have a teenager and she's good. But the boy, he's just like, oh my God, the world revolves around me. I mean, I love him and everything, but no mames. Now, it's the chile's turn. So the chile, same thing. But be careful because sometimes it splashes like and it could get in your eye and mm -mm. I don't know about all that but the skin is the one that you want to like really get because um the skin if you don't kind of do it you're going to get like a big piece in your mouth so kind of just get it really good side to side all around I like to do it one by one but that's up to you guys este, I think one by one is better because you focus on that motherfucker and not try to go all over the place and if you focus one thing at a time, you get it right, you get it tight. You know what I'm saying? So today when we went to the doctor with my mom, it was so funny. Because we went to Van Nuys and it was this little ass room. Like a little ass doctor's office. And I guess the doctor, he doesn't like people to sit, stand up. Like he, I think he has, como se dice? A OCD or something? Because every time somebody was like sitting... He's like, you need a chair? Sit down, sit down. And then the girl, the receptionist, she was telling me how he gets all pissed off, like, if you're not sitting down. And I'm like, oh, my God, he's like the doctor, and he's over here getting mad at the patients. But I'm like a person that's always standing up. So I told him, <coughs> bitch, that chile, whoo. I told the girl. I was like, well, he's going to have a problem with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to stand up. And literally... If we go to like the Pollo Loco and we're in Taco Bell. No, we don't go to El Taco Bell. We go to Del Taco. Este, I don't like Taco Bell. Este, you see me standing and eating. I'm a weirdo like that. Is that a fucking mosca? Are they coming back? In the summer, every time I was making videos, there was fucking moscas all up in my face. And I think it's coming back. 
Bitch, I can't wait to make us stay. Videos in the summer, that's when I feel like the sun is out and I'm alive. So anyways, back to the salsa. I finished doing my my chiles. You don't have to make it all like like perfect. You could leave little little big pieces. That's the beautiful part that it's not a blender. You know what I'm saying? So now the tomatoes. Okay, so the tomatoes squish in softly because if you go all in, like it's gonna go all over the place. So just remix it with that bitch together. You know they're making love up in this bitch, making love in the club. Oh, oh my god, that was a bad. Um, I love Usher. Okay, wait, that in loco. I don't know about his crazy life though. I don't know how these celebrities they be doing a lot. I never believed though that he had herpes. I don't know. I just don't see it from him. But I don't. You don't never know with motherfuckers anymore. Wait, wait. But the crazy one is this R. Kelly. Oh my god. Pinchar Kelly se pasa de verga. He was um. He made or he didn't make. He married Aaliyah. Well, he did make because she was a kid. He made Aaliyah marry him so she wouldn't testify against him. Like what the fuck? Aaliyah was so fucking drop dead gorgeous. Fucking with the older guy. That's why I tell Mandy all the time. Don't be talking to older men. Like I don't care because they already they live life, you know? They already know what the fuck is up. They know what the fuck to say to convince little girls to be like fuck with them. And they just wanna take your pussy, lady kid. They're not gonna love you, they just wanna take your pussy. That's all they want from you. Y tú no vas a ser pendeja. Don't be talking to you know? Older guys are doing dumb shit. I know I'm, I'm, I'm not like overprotective, like, oh my God, don't blink, don't breathe. But I just want, it took me a lot to raise that little girl. You know what I'm saying? I could have gone crazy like the other bitch that killed her own daughter. But I'm, I'm really trying. And I, I don't want to give her away to any fucking dumbass. I mean, she's not going to be for me. I know one day she's going to have to fly away. But I don't want her to just go with any random fucking fuckboy. Mm -hmm. This. The salt, we're going to put it at the end. So that's what it looks like at the end. Um, you cut up some cilantro and put it on top. Cut up some onions. People, Some people put cheese, some queso fresco. But like I said, this is a basic ass one. Este, you know what? Is, it the, is this the salt? No, it's the other one. Because one, it's like those big big ones. And this, this one is the other little ones. So... Please, please check the salt when you make the salsa. I hate when I go to a restaurant and um, the salsa is not... Or I go to a fucking party, like a fucking baby shower. And you could tell the fucking salsa looks fire, but it's missing salt. I'm like, you could just taste it, that shit. The way you do that, you go like this. Perfection. Perfection. Mm. It's nice and spicy. Might a little bit of oregano. Mm-hmm. Man, I can't show that way. Just better do this and tell bird. Um, taught me. Show your grandma. Show your estetia. Be like, mira, wey, be like, mira, I'm Mexican as fuck. Or even if you're white, black, Asian, tell them, look what I could do. I got my tortilla. I'm not doing how my mom said she would do it. So she would use the other semillas, the semillas with the, um, the ones that have the, the thing over it, the skin or whatever. But fuck it. This is close enough. I don't want to get a big ass chili. I'm going to chill out like I'm going to get. Like, ah, so hot. Mm -mm -mm. So here we go, yo. Shout out to my grandma for, like, teaching this to my mom. Or, you know, when there was nothing else to eat, fucking seeds. Mira, wait. You can make anything into something good if you just put, put your wrist on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It's hot. And it's good. My mom said that her and her brothers and sisters, before they went to school, that's what they ate. I mean, every time she talks about it, she just gets all into it. Like, me, mama, you know, that's what she made for me. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. But anyway, motherfucker. I hope you guys try this. Do something different. Until I'm my bird gang, 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 motherfuckers. I love you. Peace and motherfucking love.